I'm building a scale model of a boat mooring harbour system thingy and literally the H2D compared to the X1C is just saving me so much time. Okay, so this is the X1C. We've got four of the same things. This is a single part which has been painted uh, so started with a single filament but it's been painted white so we've got two filaments now if we slice that plate what we'll see 91 filament changes we're gonna flush out 33 grams of filament and most importantly we're gonna take four hours and 21 minutes to print it. Here we are over on the H2D, literally the same file, nothing's changed, so same object, same printing, just opened up and applied for the H2D profile. We now have the option to go filament saving because I can put a filament on the left nozzle and a filament on the right nozzle. We're gonna go for convenience mode, we're gonna slice it, and compared to the X1C, the results are bonkers. We're literally not flushing any filament because it doesn't have to change at all. Amazing. And what was four hours and 20 minutes on the X1C is now two hours. We have just literally saved two hours by having a dual nozzle printer. And so whilst I've got the AMS on the right nozzle, at the moment what I've got is the secondary filament down on left nozzle and that is what is going to eliminate all of that purge all of that waste dual extrude has already saved me time now the key question is when the h2c lands with its fancy new vortex system what does that do because that should in theory eliminate all filament change times for the four or five filaments that it will support but at least for now printing dual color just got a lot more efficient